loves and welcome back to the channel today we're going to be talking about the spiritual consequences of desecrating an enemy's grave okay um so i briefly talked about this on my tiktok uh because of the whole entire meg the stallion um Nicki minaj situation that unfolded <laughs> last week chaotically like when i tell you aquarius season has been aquariuring <laughs> like crazy um the situation is really 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 wild and if you're gonna come in my comments and say oh no nikki never said to you know go and do something to the grave i saw the the um the twitter tweets okay and i also saw the clips on the lives that they were doing and and talking about and just even invoking someone else is an, an enemies let's just call it an enemy because that's what it is and to Nicki Minaj Meg Thee Stallion is an enemy so even invoking someone's ancestor and I'm personally assuming that Meg Thee Stallion's mom became an ancestor specifically and this is my reasoning um and you guys can disagree with me if you want to but generally speaking when a parent has a kid that is still alive and that that parent passes nine times out of ten honestly ten times out of ten, nine times out of ten that parent will end up choosing they, they will choose to become an ancestor um specifically to watch over them that specific child that they obviously had um but also the like if they knew oh like um my kid was pregnant at the time or something like they will continue to watch over the bloodline for a, a considerable amount of time of their choosing okay so personally to me to invoke meg the stallion's parental ancestor is wild wild okay so we're going to talk about the spiritual consequences of it like targeting an ancestor of your enemy not even like you directly but your your ancestor okay so the thing to note about this situation is that to send people um or, or to even insinuate to 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 invoke someone's parent someone's ancestor um against them as like you know to weaponize them against them like right the whole situation that's happening with the, with the whole entire thing if you don't know what happened between Meg Thee Stallion and, and Nicki Minaj basically what had happened was that Meg Thee Stallion released a song hiss which in the song she does not name anybody she just says the line you know what is it these hoes aren't, aren't MAGA Megan and these hoes are mad at Megan's law Megan's law being the law that um forces sexual offenders to register um so that everybody who lives around them knows that they are around for safety reasons um obviously and so she basically said that in the the bar and um in the song and um Nicki Minaj took it very personally and the shoe fitted very very well considering that she has a very long history of working with um SOs okay from her husband being not only on the list um but also um i be believe he also offed someone um so he's not just an so he also off someone because he served time for that as well um her brother is serving time for the um assault of uh her niece 12 year old niece i believe what it was and she paid money to bail him out um during that case and called her a liar and said a lot of things uh so he's serving time for that she also worked with Takachi 69 who also is an so um and basically she has a very long history uh of oh also worked with r kelly after the fact like very much you know and so she has a very long history of uh not caring about victims and not caring about if the person who she's working with is problematic um so there's that and so that shoe fit really well for that line and so nikki threw a tantrum for and so people be like oh it was a 48 hour 72 hour tantrum no it was a week i was counting i was i was counting it was a week it was a week she just she recently stopped tweeting like four or five days ago 
after basically Bigfoot, which is her diss track to Megan, flopped and didn't, you know, the second like it wasn't going to hit the billboard and it really plummeted because people only heard it to see her response. They weren't hearing it to actually play it over and over again because that diss track was ass. Um, basically, she she went somewhere. She was supposed to drop another like diss track, four or five, four or five more songs because she said it in the song that she has like five more things to say and all the stuff. Um said that she was gonna buy her masters if she doesn't like stop talk all the stuff only for Meg to post recently that she not only is still an independent artist has a deal with to distribute and has her masters so and it's Aquarius season and she did this all on Aquarius season listen um but it's it's a lot going on so not only did Meg like basically get blessed she has the number one single right now and all of this stuff and, and like she has a lot of support from different like fan fandoms and all this kind of stuff but Nikki ended up shooting herself in the foot and she ended up like because there's a lot of her fans that basically excuse her behavior and don't really um don't really hold her accountable for that because I mean it, it, it is the truth like whether the bar was about her or not the shoot fit really well she has a history with that you can't deny that it's like denying that you need to breathe air to live so it's kind of like the shoe fit it is what it is and she just really took it upon herself to deteriorate for a week it was really bad like every single day she said something else when it got to the point that she was talking about um and there were certain um insinuations of oh don't don't make me send and don't don't make me give the, the green light to like basically send you know to the grave and now what ended up happening is that the police was called um to protect uh, Meg Stallion's grave because they found out where it was. They leaked it online. Um, the, her fans leaked it online, and they basically were trying to go desecrate it. So not only are those people the ones that her fans that actively said, you know what, yeah, we're gonna go desecrate, or we even have the intention to desecrate, are gonna get hit like that. It's not only just Nicki Minaj, but Nicki Minaj will have generational karma for this okay because the problem is with picking fights with an ancestor like when it's the person like let's say you're my enemy right let's say we got beef right um if let's say i was wrong in the beef the ancestors might like if there's something that i need to learn from the situation they might not protect me from something within the situation that i need to learn so they might le let me get like a hit or something if I'm in the wrong about the situation or if I need to learn a lesson from this or whatever it is. Sometimes the ancestors will be like, you know, what? I'm not going to protect you right now because you need to learn something from this. Sometimes they do that. They will actively do that. But if you're not in the wrong and somebody's just coming at you, you will end up like they'll, they'll be like, OK, well, we got to protect our own. Right. But when it comes to attacking, invoking, because the whole light on your dead mama line, which is horrible um invoking someone else's ancestor maternal ancestor in, in like in order to attack the person when that specific ancestor is no longer in a physical body it no longer becomes a like so meg obviously she could drop a diss track she could do whatever she's choosing to ignore it she's being her most aquarius self right now which is amazing um and she's just kind of thriving right now and getting all these blessings, catching all of these blessings that was going to happen anyway. She just got number one single, became an independent artist, all of this kind of stuff. Um, like she's still maintaining that path, um, making deals, owning her masters. Like she's, she's lit. She just announced her tour. I'm definitely going to it this year in the summer. I'm really excited about it. Um, she's like on path, on track. But it's like f to invoke someone else's ancestor, they, you have to understand that they can only come at you spiritually it's spiritual warfare when we talk about spiritual warfare this is one of the ways that it manifests a lot of people talk about spiritual warfare with like the government and a lot of other stuff and yes yes i'm not gonna say no but you can literally do spiritual warfare by effing around and finding out by literally doing stuff like this like really stupid stuff like this where you're invoking other people's ancestors or desecrate or, or even in the intention to desecrate and the fact that you're not stopping your fans and saying, hey, this is a no, going on for days and then saying, oh, I never, da, 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 oh, no, 
No, I saw the tweets and I saw the what I saw what you said in the damn live. Like you definitely you you do insinuate it what needed to be insinuated. And they found they did the research. They dropped the the. the, the they docked the grave, grave site and that's why the police was there because there was enough people like enough evidence to be like okay well the police is gonna have to go go guard her grave site her mother's grave site. ridiculous um and so not only will the fans that had anything to do with that get hit with generational trauma from this um but also nikki okay and because again meg's mom is not in a physical form She's in a spiritual form. It's spiritual warfare. And when you're just effing around with someone's ancestor like this, um, it ends up becoming generational trauma, especially for the situation that she's experiencing and especially for the history that she has. All of this stuff is going to get passed down to Nikki's descendants and her is going to impact her legacy. Okay, because Cardi B was 100%, 1000% right when she said what she said when she literally like blasted her online. <laughs> she was like, you're effing up your legacy by being an effing hater. And it's true. She's effing up her legacy by being a hater um, and her own actions personally. But now it's like the public perception. Um, also, there's a lot of people that had to leave the fandom because of the situation. It was, it's like really, really, really bad. Um, there's also been statements about her like doing the tour in order to um, kind of, uh, that whole situation is crazy as far as it being kind of collateral for like the debt that she has. It's, it's not it's not looking good it's not looking good and then to invoke someone's ancestor and do this kind of stuff um even if nikki's a sagittarius and you got to keep this in mind sagittarius's are the luckiest side in astrology okay but what ha happened was is that you can really f up your luck even when you're a sagittarius like nikki might have different windows of opportunity in the future to make some money but it will never be as much as she could have made had she stayed on track with herself had she been you know okay so it's going to like she'll still be able to tap into aspects of her own essence right being a Sagittarius but it's not going to be as big as before and it's not gonna like doors will not only remain closed but doors will get closed in her face moving forward like it's going to be not only generational trauma financial blockages also when it comes to love and relationships so when we talk about generational curses this is an automatic generational curse like hit automatically spiritual warfare you want to mess with me you want to talk about my child publicly you want to you want to invoke me oh okay i'm gonna make sure this heat is passed down to your bloodline now that's literally spiritually the consequence the consequence is every type of generational curse that you can think of um and the messing up of the legacy moving forward like moving forward history wise like i wouldn't be surprised uh because a lot of people have been dethroning her as the queen of rap even though she gave herself the title i never considered her the queen of rap personally i just i don't like her rap style i never did i only listened the only song that i ever listened to from her um even though i listened to some of her songs just to get a, a understanding of how she raps was um the one she did with eminem and I only listened to his part because I just didn't like her part, um, personally speaking. So I just, I've never been really a fan of her. I think she is a bully. I will say that. Um, spiritually, she's just not, she's not, not the vibe at all. Um, I don't, I cannot F with her energy at all. I don't, I just can't, I can't excuse her behavior. Um, I just, I never, I've never liked her at all. Um, Meg, I think is a very amazing rapper, like rapping ability, amazing. Um, really loved when she came into the scene and will continue to support her. Like she's amazing. But I think that Meg has been actively, uh, had doors opening for her and has been very blessed throughout her career um, with what she has she, how she's done even though yeah she had some obviously downfalls with her mother passing her grandma passing um and everything that happened with the the, the guy in the, in the that's in jail for shooting her um she's had some some moments but at the same time she's overcome so much she stayed really strong and she has remained very like fixed grounded with her own like 
you know way so I do think that her career is only going to go up from this I think she's going to get the biggest blessing from this um and I think Nikki is going to face a huge consequence not only spiritually is she going to pass this generational trauma to her own descendants um there's gonna be people within her her bloodline in the future they're gonna be like why are my finances this way why like everything that's happening to her right now it will be more exaggerated like as far as like her descendants will have to go through shit just because of what she did now to us and believe we're watching a generational trauma being formed in like real time it's wild and as someone who does spiritual work right it's it's wild to see it be done in this way in real time like in my face like let's go desecrate it that's like somebody coming into your home and like turning up your altar disrespecting breaking stuff all this stuff like you don't think there's consequences for that you're gonna get cons there's gonna be consequences for that type of behavior with the intention alone with the invoking alone there's consequence spiritual consequences like a lot of people were like yo you know meg's family is creole you can't be eff like you there's spiritual like my brain was like are you serious there's spiritual consequences you can't just be doing stuff just to do stuff you can't it's because invoking someone's ancestor who's literally like recently had passed is wild to me it's wild to me because obviously they're not going to be like oh yeah like her mom is not going to pick you with the harm that you're causing her daughter publicly you're going to get extremely hit from all of this and so i am not looking forward to seeing how her how nikki's rest of her life progresses from this situation um she made her choices and she did what she did and I would not be surprised if she gets kind of collectively dethroned or even completely like black like blackballed out of the whole industry um and just kind of ends up later 20 years from now I don't know doing a documentary about it later just to like get some extra money in or something like that because I don't think that she's in a good place right now I think she needs help um I think someone needs to take I'm, I'm glad someone took her phone away because like I said she's been off Twitter after like it became clear that Meg Thee Stallion was gonna have the number one single on Billboard like after it became clear <laughs> that that was happening she stayed mom the announcement of, of Meg having you know her um uh, new opportunity and owning her masters and all that stuff came out and mom everything's been mom 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 like and recently meg went live celebrating the fact that you know like history was made with especially with a new contract and stuff mom so i'm like yeah somebody took her phone away which is great because lord um but i will not be surprised if something happens like in the near future and i really hope things just kind of calm down um but i'm looking forward to meg's album and what she does and all the jazz i'm looking forward to i'm sure she she's she already wrote a couple things from this whole experience and i can't wait to see it because she did drop some clues that she was going to like go in um but yeah no that she's gonna make basically make this is an automatic blessing towards megan like she's gonna be fine but nikki is going to be going through generational trauma um and generational curses and passing down those generational curses to her own descendants and those who are currently living i wouldn't be surprised if her her family like starts having different type of issues and stuff like that like it this situation is that on that level it's like oh you want to call what yeah no wild never do this never go like if you have a problem with someone in this lifetime address it with that person do not come for their ancestors do not do that no matter how mad you are because you will you will you will be finding yourself seeing red and not having your doors closed and as much as you pray for them to be open they'll stay closed because you decided to spiritually start a war with somebody else anyway I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video.